What's up guys, Colleen here. Welcome to today's video. How are you? It's 2020, new year. By the title of the video, you already know what we're doing. New year, new month. So we're doing a BoxyCharm unboxing for the month of January 2020. If you don't know what BoxyCharm is, it is a monthly beauty subscription box that comes with four to five products. I'm pretty sure I've always gotten five products in my box though. They did change it so it's um, $25 instead of $21 plus you were like state tax when you ship it. So it comes out to about $27, I think, for mine, since I live in California. Um, but the box is a little bit bigger. It does say Hello Charmer on the side instead of on the inside like it used to. And then the inside's red as well now, but we'll get into <laughs> that in a second. But I'm very excited. I did open this up last night so I could see what's inside of it. So let's go ahead and jump right on in. So the box is red on the inside too now, which is something new they added. Red's not my favorite color, but like black and red's classic, I guess. Um, right on top is the card, like normal. This month's theme was breaking the ice and there's a bunch of like, I think it's ice on it. On the back of the card, there's all the information for the products you have like normal. Um, and uh, in the bottom corner, there's a number. So I'm assuming this is the variation I got and I got the variation 22 and I did already open the box last night so I could see what was in it what we could try out um, so I did already try the first product in the box and this is from the brand skin and co this is their polishing micro exfoliating truffle face gomage I think that's how you say that word um, and it's their truffle therapy so I did try this out last night and I gotta say first impression I'm totally a fan the texture of it is like a nourishing face mask, but it has these like micro exfoliants in it. So it just feels so good on the skin. It said to apply on the face and neck and gently massage for like two minutes. So that's what I did last night. And my skin felt so smooth after. It feels so good. And um, it says to use like three, four times a week, which is normally when I exfoliate my skin. Like every other day is usually when I do it myself. Um, so I am definitely a fan of this. I'm definitely going to use it some more. Um, but like I said, this is from the brand Skin & Co. Roma. Ro Roma. Um, and then this retails for $28. And then the next thing in the box is also a skincare item. I did use this last night as well. Um, this is from the brand Avant. I hope that's how you say it. Um, and this is their 8 hour radiance renewal sleeping mask. So I did we put this on last night as well after I exfoliated my face with the goma face gomage thing. Um, and I woke when I woke up this morning when I was washing it off, my skin felt like so smooth and just like hydrated and like just like like it mm, I don't know. And when I woke up this morning, my skin was so smooth and just it just felt so nice and like refreshed and it looked radiant i guess that's the name of it so doing its job um i just applied this as my moisturizer after all my other skincare items um as just like as a replacement and i absolutely love it i'm definitely gonna use it some more like i said that was from the brand avant skincare and this this <laughs> oh my gosh this retails for 107 dollars I was not expecting that. I didn't read this last night. Oh my gosh. Dude, that's expensive. Okay. Alrighty then. Okay, and then last but not least in the box is this little box. Um, and this is from the brand Queen with a V instead of a U. This is a thick skin, oh, I don't like that, um, matte liquid lip stain. Okay, um, a liquid lip. I get these all the time in my boxes, and this is in the uh, shade thick skin. Oh, that's the name. That's not, okay. <laughs> okay, let's see what the shade is. Okay, it looks like a pinky nude, standard. I get these all the time in my boxes. Let's go give it a swatch. Okay, I think I'll actually like that. I don't know, I should do a look where they match. This matches the eyes, let's do that. This is the shade up close. I think it's pretty good, not too bad. 
Um, it's a little bit more pinky than a nude that I would go for, but I mean, not too bad at all. Um, so that's from the brand Queen Studio with a V instead of a U in Queen. And then this is their matte liquid lip stain, um, but this retails for $17, so nothing too crazy. I'm gonna go ahead and pop on my base and then we can try out the concealer, the eyeshadow palette, and that lipstick. So I'll be right back. I don't know, it's a, it's a medium coverage and I like, oh, that seems dark. Shoot, my dogs are barking. Okay, that seems dark, but I'm not gonna apply too much. I'm applying that and then I'm gonna blend it out with, I use a sponge. So let's see. Yeah, no. This is definitely not light enough for under my eye. Let's see. I, I need more. <laughs> I don't, it doesn't even look like it did anything. So we put more on. It probably looks different with the lights and the, and the camera, but let's see if this is better. It doesn't dry down too fast. I feel like it blends really easy, but it's just, I like more coverage than this for my concealer. I don't like how it's looking. Oh no. That does not, that is not right. So I went ahead and powdered my face and set it like I normally do. And final thoughts, I don't like this concealer very much. Um, I don't think, I don't really think it did anything. Um, I feel like it took off some of my foundation, like on my cheeks and on my nose, especially like right in here. I feel like it picked up product from underneath when that never happens with my other concealers um and then you can still see i put on like two or three layers and do this guy is not pulling through for me so eh, an eh product you know um i'm gonna do the rest of my face and my bronze blush highlight and all that and then i'll come back and we'll do the eyes hopefully this is better i do like this brand I have several other eyeshadow palettes, so hopefully this won't disappoint. <laughs> oh my gosh! Wait! What are you doing? Rolling! 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 I'm gonna zoom you in so you can see what I'm doing. But I'm probably gonna speed this part up so it doesn't take forever. <laughs> Set up my battery died when I think I was doing eyeliner, so I just put on my brows and mascara. And this is um, final look. Let's see, this is the final look. Um, pretty warm, like all the looks I do when I get my boxy charms, basically. Um, but I went very orangey but i do really like it i i thought i would go with my shirt this is um my journey shirt um but anyway um the palette i love i like i said before i have a couple of palettes from ace beauty and i always really like them there's a lot of kickback in the pan when you first dip in your brush but as long as you tap it off um it's pretty good the shimmers are really nice when you apply with your finger i think when you apply them with the brush they're not too great you have to wet your brush obviously um but i like that there's a mirror on the top it's a really nice mirror i like having the names engraved in it and then they're just kind of like that like 
um, bright gold. But I do like the palette. Last thing I need to use, it. Last thing I need to use is the lipstick. Probably not gonna go with these eyes. <laughs> oh well. <laughs> but let's apply this. Like from before, this is from the brand Queen. It smells like fruit and like plastic. Oh, it's matte all right. Oh my gosh. You know, it's not too bad with these eyes. It is like a little bit more pinky than like my eyes are so orange. And it's kind of sticky, do you see? Oh, wait a minute. Ew, okay, wait, 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 wait. Let me zoom you in. When I go like this, it's super sticky and it's coming off. It's like peeling off my lips. What the heck? I don't like that. And I exfoliated my lips earlier too. Like I brushed my teeth and I exfoliated my lips before I started filming. So, and I had lip balm on the entire time. So my lips aren't dry or anything. Uh uh, not about that. Mm -mm. Um, and it's not. It's not very comfortable either. I don't like it. I don't think I like it. Mm. Let me put a lip gloss on. It's still, it's still peeling off. Even with the lip gloss on, it's still peeling off. That is so weird. Hi. Oh, he's back again. He's back again. What do you think of my lipstick? What do you think of my lipstick? Overall, pretty good box. There were two products that you know I don't really like. Um, these two, this lipstick, I don't know, it was peeling off. It's not very comfortable, it's really sticky. Um, I don't know. And then the concealer, it's just not, Doesn't it doesn't have the coverage that I want in a concealer. And I would much rather have a concealer that's insanely full coverage so that I can use it a little bit of it and kind of dilute it out rather than having a concealer that doesn't really have any coverage and I have to keep building it up and building it up and building it up when and then it doesn't even work that well but eyeshadow palette very much enjoyed and then these two I very much enjoyed last night I'm gonna keep using them I'll probably use this again tonight um, but that is all for this month's box let me total up the value of the box so we can see how much it was worth Let's see, let's see, let's see. So overall, the box total comes to $211.99, so just over $200, and you only pay $25. So I think that's definitely worth it for the value that you get, If even if there's one or two products that you don't really like too much. <laughs> um, if you wanted to check out BoxyCharm for yourself, I'll leave them in the description below so you can uh, check them out and see what they're all about. Um, they have a bunch of different boxes now. All right, and that is all for today's video If you liked it, don't forget to give it a thumbs up and subscribe if you haven't already I have a bunch of different videos in mind that I'm gonna be posting soon So you should definitely subscribe and you can hit the bell if you want to know exactly what I'm posting But that is all for today's video and I will see you in my next one. Bye